like Jacob spreading some gravel here. I don't know if he knows what he's doing or not. At least today it's only 78 degrees. That's practically like winter time here. This is a disaster. Well, the good news is, is it's not 110 degrees today. The last two days it's been 100, 100 plus degrees, so we were working like 4 a.m. to noon those days, so at least today it's only 78 degrees. That's practically like winter time here. two weeks and of course it rained so now everything's muddy mess but we got the crane out front so we don't really have an option but to keep on going We're trying our best here this dirt's all junk it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get all the rocks out TikTok videos all day or what? Pretty much, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Watch out, Holly. Hunter's gonna run you over. This is all junk here. So we're just loading material out here now. Not the most convenient thing, but it's working pretty good. Six McDoubles, six McChicken, six small fries. Here's the six small fries, six chicken, six McDoubles. Thanks. Yep, have a good day. Just slows the whole operation down. It's a fast food place. You guys, it's 12. You guys should have some burgers and some chicken ready. Whole drive through is just packed because of my order. Not only that, that was 50 bucks. Back in my day, a McDouble was a dollar. A McChicken was a dollar. Back in my day. Spreading some straw here. Got it all seated.
we got this job all done. For a small seating job, this one took a while. A lot of problems we ran into, but we made it work. So everything seated, Harley raked, and uh, covered with straw. So that's what they wanted. I tried talking them into sod. That way they don't have to wait two months for grass, but they said that wasn't in the budget. So this is what they get the right amount of water and attention they'll have some nice grass back here that's gonna be a wrap for today we're all gonna go get some water and get the hell out of here see you on the next job well good afternoon i am just going to check on jacob and holly they're working down in prairie de sheen at that house that we took all the trash out of we are fixing up the driveway trying to make that a little nicer for the customer they don't have phone reception down there, which sucks. So if they ever have an issue, I hate that because they can't get a hold of me. So better go check on them. See you down there. All right, just pulling up to this house in Prairie to Sheen. Looks like they got some gravel in the driveway. Got them some chicken strips. Come on. Just because I'm a nice boss. Looks like Jacob's spreading some gravel here. I don't know if he knows what he's doing or not. Got you some chicken strips. Oh, that's your favorite. Uh, you know what? That's gonna be it. Five loads of gravel, skid loader, roller. About as good as it's gonna get. Sure is nice and quiet out here. This would be a nice place to live. It's not a lot of traffic. And Holly does not like running the roller. She doesn't want anything to do with that fucking thing. I think she's just oversteering it. All, right, all they got left is roll this entrance, load up the roller, and get the out of here. Good Tuesday morning. Nope, it's Thursday. I don't know what day it is. We're gonna remove some stumps today. Let's go check these bad boys out. I think I saw Holly just sitting in here. Let's see what she's doing. Project's on hold. <laughs> What's going on? He's got locked in the excavator down to Muscaday, so we're gonna wait to unlock it. Bring it here. Bring it here. Wow. That is a large stump. That's how big this stump is. Look at it. That's how big it is. It's a big it. It's a big boy stump. Have some troubles with the mini excavator today? Yeah, there's this kid named Aiden Peggle. He said he unlocked the door. Put the key inside, shut the door. Still locked. So they uh, went all the way back to the Fenimore to get a key from the mini loader, loaded all their rock up, and came back about three hours later. Well, at least we're here. We're on track. Yeah. Good so we'll start this job at 8 o'clock. It's 10 30. Just keep going around and around. Another five feet, we'll get her. I think it's staying. <laughs> Size is always an issue. Clearly it is here. At least in my life. Wow, that's a personal problem, Derek. You'll figure it out. What do you think, Jacob? I think it's gonna be impossible. Oh, you think you could lay down in there so we can play hide and seek? Where'd you find that? Is that in there? Yeah, in the hole. I think we know what that is. How's it going? No boy, no. I'm not sure how far you're gonna have to dig. Probably 10, 15 feet under to get to the final root system, but you'll get there. Probably. The boss man just showed up because we told him we weren't gonna be able to get this tree out. 
matter. Well, he's just been kind of doing this for a little bit. Yeah, pretty big, huh? A little bigger than I thought. What do you think? Can you get in there and get her? Yeah, I can get it up. Boss man mode engage. Yeah, I gotta loosen up for him. It'll pop right out now. Yeah. I think I said at the beginning, this wasn't coming out. I like the strategy. It's not working. Oh, it moved an inch. Let's go. An inch? Let's go. Remember who loosened That's it That's a big up. win. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That felt good. How are we going to get it in there? video where he made me do all the attempts where Hunter couldn't get the bucket on the mini. He made me put attempt one, attempt two, attempt three. Oh, yeah. It's the same thing I'm gonna do here every time he had that thing rolled back in there. What's up? Hey good work. Yeah. A little bigger than I thought. <laughs> At least now we know the biggest stump that an E55 excavator will pull out is that one. <laughs> no, there's another one block away. Is it the same size as this? Or? This one is grinding. <laughs> No broom. Didn't bring a broom to the job site. I always tell them two things they always need are a broom and a leaf blower. It's another day in paradise. You got her though, by golly. Yeah, that's about the biggest. There's about 20 minutes of footage just saying how you're not gonna get it the entire time, so. Is there him saying that? No, me. He believed you could. She believed you could. <laughs> I said no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Four hours of work I did this morning was erased by one move. Yeah. What? What's wrong with the rake? All rakes are created equal. You hear that cracking? Yeah. Because somebody dumbass drove over it. Now it's then they cracked it all the way down here, so they wrapped it in electrical tape so you don't get fiberglass in your hands. This is why we don't get nice shit, because people don't respect the tools. It's probably you who ran it over. I've never ran over a f***ing rake, shovel, or anything. So. You ran over a fence. What fence? What about you, Holly? Have you hit anything yet? Hit anything or broke anything? I think me and you are the only two that have it. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. We're the only two. I, I broke. But then again, I don't actually do physical work, so it's hard for me to break or do anything. I the cable to the dump trailer once. That's not hard. Eric. Ouch. Uh, Boskyville. Thankfully, the boss man showed up, gave us a nice save, was able to do the work Jacob couldn't. But that big old tree stump is gone. Got some new dirt in there, some new seed, whatever that is, straw, hay, it doesn't matter. 
and that's a job done. I decided, why not go bug the mowing crew today? Actually, I didn't decide anything. Caleb told me to come bug the mowing crew. We're in Potosi, Wisconsin. Who's a better mower tech, you or Sean? Yeah, I don't know. Don't fool yourself, <laughs> Sean. There's Sean. I have no idea where Tech is. I hope he didn't fall in the river. There he is, maybe if you can see him. You know, we always lose mowers, and I don't get it. Mowing always seems, to me, out of all the jobs we have, other than the media job, that's fantastic. Media job first. I figure the second tier for easiness and relaxation of a job would be the mowing crew. You missed a spot. You don't care. Let's go take a look inside the trailer. See if it's as dirty as the landscape trailer. Oh my goodness. This is what a clean trailer looks like. What do you think, should I help him? 